Hey there, I'm Meg and in this tutorial we're going to cover how to secure your Facebook account. Now this tutorial is meant for all Facebook users whether you have a business page or not and we will be covering a couple of precautions that you can implement to protect your Facebook page if your main account gets hacked. Now, the reason I am making this video is because my Facebook was hacked. It was a miserable process getting it back. It was way too complicated. And this all happened right on my birthday. So I literally spent my birthday fighting to get back access to my Facebook account. If your Facebook account was hacked, I did write a blog post with a few tips on how to get access back to your account. So I will link to that down below. And after you get access back to your account, be sure to come back to this video to secure your account for the future. The first thing that we're going to do is set up two-factor authentication on your account. What this means is that Facebook has two different methods to verify that it's actually you who's logging in. The first method is always the password that you enter, and this is what gets hacked. This is how people get access to your Facebook account. But if you have two-factor authentication enabled, what that means is most likely you're going to opt to have a code texted to your mobile device, which you will then enter into Facebook. Because that code is only being texted to your phone number, hackers are significantly less likely to be able to get into your account. But remember, everything is still a possibility. So we do what we can to try to protect ourselves. So in order to set up that two-factor authentication, we are going to head on over to Facebook. For a little more information on two-factor authentication, Facebook has this help article, which I will link to. But when you are ready to set it up, you are going to go to Facebook. It doesn't matter where you are on Facebook. You're going to click on your profile picture, settings and privacy, settings again, and then you're going to head to security and log in. From here, you can also change your password and you're going to scroll down to two-factor authentication and you are going to click edit and then it will ask you to enter your password and set up two-factor authentication. The next step is to verify that your birth date is correct. Yes, I know it may seem counterintuitive to share additional personal information with Facebook, but your birth date is one of the key pieces of information that Facebook needs to verify in order to give you access back to your account if you're hacked. So yes, this step is a little more of proactive stuff in case you do get hacked, and actually I'm pretty sure all of the steps upcoming are more proactive than they are in securing your account, but you will definitely wish that you did these steps if you do get hacked. Now, your birth date does not have to be public on your Facebook account, and I will show you how to set it to private. So let's head on over to Facebook to verify your birth date. Date your birthday on Facebook, you are going to click on your profile picture, which will bring you here to your profile, and then you are going to click on the About tab, and you're going to scroll down until you see contact and basic info on the left. At the top, you would see your phone number and your address if you inputted your address. I just added the town that I live in and I set it to private. I've already scrolled down towards the bottom where you will see your birth date. This is the date and then if you kept scrolling, there would be the year. You would click on the pencil to edit the date and in order to set your birth date to private, you can click on the icon directly next to the pencil and you can select who can see your birthday, whether it's the public, your friends, friends except acquaintances, etc. You can set it to only me, but Facebook did separate the date from the year so that way you can make your birth date public, but make the year private, which is what I have set. My birth date is public, but the year is private. Along with your birth date, Facebook is also going to verify your name. Now, if you're like me and use a nickname on your Facebook account, that's totally fine. You just have to make sure that you have a way to double verify that you are who you are. And what I mean by that is, for example, when I went to prove my identity to get access back to my Facebook account, I uploaded my driver's license, which has my full legal name. 
because of that, Facebook denied my request. So what I did is I ended up sending a picture of my driver's license next to a piece of mail that had my nickname. The key was to make sure that the addresses matched. So this is a twofer. You want to make sure that your driver's license has an address that matches a piece of mail that contains your nickname. So yeah, I know that can be a little confusing. So basically what I ended up doing was I had my driver's license, which has my legal name and my address. And then I found a piece of mail that has my nickname that I use on Facebook and the same address that's listed on my driver's license. The next tip pertains to Facebook pages, and that is to make sure that you have more than one admin on your Facebook page. What was super comforting for me when my account was hacked was that I had created a fake Facebook account a few years ago so I could have that as an admin on my Facebook page. So when my main account was hacked, I was still able to log into my fake account and access my Facebook page. Now I also have my husband as an admin on my account just because I am being super cautious. So you can have a friend or a spouse or a relative be an admin. I definitely recommend having them as an admin instead of an editor because you want them to have full access to your Facebook page. Let's say that you were to lose access to your main Facebook account. You're not able to log into it ever again, you don't want the only way to access your page to be via an account that is only an editor. To add an admin to your Facebook page, you're going to navigate to your Facebook page and then on the left sidebar, you're gonna scroll all the way down until you see settings and then you're going to find page roles and this is where you can add a new page role. You can enter in the email address or the name of the person that you are adding. So once you do that, you would select their role. I recommend having at least two to three admins on your page so that way if you do completely lose access to your account you can still fully access your page via somebody else's account so you would choose the role and then you would click add and they would receive a notification to accept the invite to be an admin on your page and then in the future you can scroll down and you can click edit next to the people who are admins or editors and you can remove them if you so choose the final tip to secure your Facebook account is to not use Facebook as a login on other apps and websites. I know it is super tempting to do that. We have so many passwords that we need to remember, but if you use Facebook as a login for other apps and websites, if your Facebook account is hacked, not only could the hacker potentially gain access to your accounts on those other platforms, but you could lose access to those other platforms. So yes, I know it is super convenient, but it is super inconvenient if you get hacked. So always have a separate username and password for every single account. Do not use Facebook as a login. Those are my tips on how to secure your Facebook account. I hope they help. To learn even more about Facebook, including tips and tricks such as how to get more followers on your Facebook page, what to post, how to boost engagement, and how to convert admirers into actual paying customers, check out my online mini course, Facebook Facelift. I've linked to it down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.